I started having trouble breathing about 24 hours after I delivered. And they ran a CT scan, uh, assuming it was a pulmonary embolism. And I remember the uh, nurse came back into my hospital room with a doctor and they had taken Aiden back to the nursery. And she said, we're calling a cardiologist because there's a mass on your heart. And we don't know what it is, but we don't want to keep you waiting, so we're gonna run some more tests. My mom and dad were there, and my in-laws, and my husband, and um, very calmly he said, you have a very large mass in your left ventricle, and every time your heart beats, it's pumping in and out of your mitral valve, and you're at immediate risk for a heart attack or a stroke, especially since you just had a baby. He explained to me that they would be arranging transport, and they moved me to Texas Health Presbyterian of Dallas and I met a wonderful cardiothoracic surgeon and he walked us through uh, what the process was going to be like for open heart surgery that day and uh, explained how they were going to stop my heart, make an incision and remove the mass which uh, ended up being a benign tumor and um, I was in the hospital five days in ICU and the wonderful part about our story and why we're so thankful for Encore is my mom was Aiden's primary caregiver during that time and Encore gave her leave while I was on my maternity leave so that she could be the one to take Aiden home from the hospital and be home with him when I wasn't and even after I was released from the hospital I had a very long road of recovery and Aiden was a very healthy premature baby. He was seven pounds, which was two pounds over my weight limit. So um, she was there to love on him and hold him when I couldn't. And it's been two years. We just had a Mickey Mouse birthday party in, J in July. And Aiden is wonderful and crazy and wild. And we are loving and living every day. Yeah, that's a really good point. And I, I think too, um, those, uh, of course, when I had to bring Aiden home from the hospital, I uh, bawled my eyes out all the way home because I thought, you know, Shay and Bobby should be doing this, not Nani. But it was so sweet. It, it's, I will never forget having the first three months of his life to be his primary caregiver. Um, Shay's husband was traveling, so it was just she and Shay and I, I mean, she and, and Aiden and I during the week, and then Bobby was home on the weekends. So Encore let me work a reduced schedule so that I could uh, be home for uh, Aiden and Shay. So we, I have a very special relationship with uh, Aiden and Shay because with going through, walking through this really tough time in our lives, we feel like uh, Encore helped us get through it and then our faith in God as we watched him heal her and deliver a very healthy baby boy. The one reason we share our story is because there is an assumption that heart disease only affects an elderly neighbor down the street. Um, I was a very healthy individual. I was an athlete my whole life. I took care of myself during the pregnancy and um, I was very active and my husband and I eat very healthy. And it's one thing to hear these awful medical stories on the news or somebody else's tragic story and you say, wow, that, that's horrible, but that would never happen to me. I said that and it did happen to me. I was 26 years old and I had my whole life ahead of me. I was gonna be a mommy. And the reason we share our story is because heart disease knows no bounds. And it, it is the number one killer of women in America and we've got to change our lifestyles. We've got to eat healthy. We've got to take care of ourselves. We've got to be active for ourselves and our families so that when there is something wrong, you recognize it and you ask questions.